So I'm an experimental physicist, and in that sense, I do a lot of engineering. And there was an opportunity 10 years or so ago to get involved in youth robotics in West Virginia. And so I started up some teams, and I've gotten very involved in outreach and working with uh, young kids, middle school and high school, and engineering and STEM education. And so we've been doing that for about 10 years. And you know, the other part of my life is as a working scientist, and these two sort of just magically came together this past year when I started doing some outreach stuff with Legos, with high school kids for a spacecraft which is run by a lot of people I work with professionally. Well, the kids have really enjoyed doing them. Uh, they're actually learning quite a bit when they do it, not only about the instruments and the science of the MMS mission, but also computer-aided design, because we do all the design work in a 3D CAD program. And so it's a great uh, entree point for the students before we put them on the full 3D CAD for engineering stuff where we build big robots. They're doing it in Lego and really getting a lot of experience with CAD and 3D design and visualization. So the two are working together really well, and the kids really enjoy the project. You know, people often ask me why I started the robotics program, which is reaching a couple hundred kids in West Virginia now. It, re it was really a matter of, boy, it'd be great if these things were around. I wish I'd been able to do that kind of stuff when I was a young person, and it didn't exist. And, you know, you look around, you look around, and no one else is stepping up to do it, and you just finally say, okay, I'm going to do this. And the robotics activities take a lot of time, you know, sometimes 30, 40 hours a week of my, of my week. But uh, the impact on the kids is great. 100% of them are going off to college uh, that we've graduated the program. And that's really our metric. And uh, we just keep doing it because, you know, it's fun. Uh, I get to play with Legos and robots and kids and, uh, and do work, you know, and, as be a working scientist at the same time. So it's sort of the best of all possible worlds. Well, really, since the, the type of robotics we do, it's, it's with the uh, FIRST Robotics Program, which is uh, a national program, the real focus of that is one-on-one -on -one interactions between mentors and students. So my robotics program includes uh, 20 to 30 adult mentors who work with our 30 to 40 high school kids one-on-one -on -one every week. And how we inspire them is basically to be excited about what we do uh, demonstrate that you can have a job doing these fun things and, and you know the kids basically realize oh wow you know this is a career that uh, is challenging is interesting it, you know it will pay the bills I can have a future and so some of our kids go off in engineering some go into education we have one in history they're all in college but really what they see is that there are paths to success where you can invest yourself in your time and your passion and do something that you enjoy doing. You know, that when I grew up, I knew a lot of people who worked industries that they didn't really want to go to work. And I think the way you excite kids is they see that you want to go to work. And they realize, well, wow, jobs that you want to go do, that seems cool.